Hi guys, so today we're talking about prescription lenses. Now I have a big problem. Similarly to Harry Potter, from a very young age, I've had to wear prescription glasses. And others with a similar condition will very much be able to relate to this. You see, wearing glasses makes life much more complicated. Can you imagine having to go to the world's best locations and you're limited by what you see through two small pieces of glass that are held on your face by a frame. God forbid if you drop them or step on them or break them in any way, or even just have a tiny little scratch because that's it, your life will basically be ruined. By the way, do astronauts wear glasses? I don't know, but it'd be pretty annoying if they had to. And remember those days when you went to a cinema to watch a 3D movie and you wore not just one, but two pairs of glasses on the same face? Yeah, just like Thor, it's enough to make you want to scream and smash them into one million pieces. Just like that succulent looking watermelon there. And fast forward to the days of VR, it's as challenging and quite painful to have to play VR applications wearing your glasses inside of the VR headset. First of all, you need to have the right size frame, otherwise they just won't fit. Secondly, when playing fast paced games like Beat Saber or wreck -It NX or Synth Riders, the headset moves around on your face, so it can make the glasses fall out of place. And then we have to deal with the issue of fogging. So in the long story short, having glasses just really sucks. So you might be asking yourself, well, why don't you just wear contact lenses? What's all the fuss about? Wearing contact lenses is highly not recommended. First of all, inside of the headset, it can get pretty hot, which means that the eye will get pretty dry. And then if you get to sweat and it goes onto your eye, well, basically you could have an eye infection. So those are just some of the reasons as to why we shouldn't be wearing contact lenses inside of VR. So I was struggling to find a solution and you know, it was getting really too much for me. So when the guys from VR Wave contacted me, said, hey, we'll send you a pair to try out. I was actually, pretty excited. So a couple of weeks later I received this tiny little box of all the items neatly wrapped up inside of a little pouch. I was really excited, really eager to just put them inside of my VR headset. Now there were no instructions that came with them but honestly it was as easy as switching on a brand new phone for the very first time. You don't need to remove anything inside of the VR headset whatsoever. All you need to do is take the frames, place them inside on top of the rings of the lenses until you hear a click sound. Now you'll notice there are little magnetic rings around the frame so all you have to do is take the lenses part and then place them so that they match and that's it. You just put the VR headset on and off you go. But honestly, I was still a little bit skeptical, wondering whether, you know, when you're playing games like Odika or Audio Trip or O Shape, when you're moving your body a lot quite fast, whether the frames were going to stay in place, or also when you're removing your headset, whether things were just going to fall out and basically break on the floor and then you would be back to square one again. I can honestly say that after having been in VR for almost a couple of years, it really was the first time for me as a VR user to have a truly 100% immersive experience. I was simply wowed by this product. When I put the headset on and I didn't have to feel the frame around the side of my head, it was just amazing. I felt at one with a VR headset. And as I was playing all the various different VR apps, especially Racket NX, which requires you to move quite a lot in a 360 degree, nothing moved, everything stayed in place. I took off and put on my headset dozens of times since I've received the product until the day that I made this video and I can honestly say I've never had a problem whatsoever at any time. But wait because there's more. Marcel, who's also a subscriber to the channel, also shared with me that it's actually quite practical to have a magnetic technology because if you want to buy more prescriptive lenses for let's say your friends or your family but you only have one VR headset then you could just remove them and then they could just place theirs on the VR headset since it's all going to be the same size anyway. And then for those who don't wear specs, well of course you just remove the lenses, you don't have to remove the frames and have to redo everything again. For those who do wear specs but they don't have the prescription lenses, then you just remove the lenses and then the frames will actually act as additional layer of protection because there's going to be some distance between the actual lenses in the VR headset and the specs that have been worn by the other user. The pricing is actually pretty reasonable, so do go to the link in the description below the like button where you can be redirected to the website to find out all the information. There is a special 5% 
discount that you can get when using the promo code VR Essentials. The customer service is top notch. Every time I wrote to them, they replied to me within 48 hours. So I was pretty impressed by that. They have prescription lenses available for all the different Facebook VR headsets and also the Valve Index. And very soon they will also have some for the HP Reverb G2. So do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. Switch on your notification bell so that you get notified when I upload the video reviewing their products again using the HP Reverb G2. Honestly, if you wear prescription lenses, just do yourself a huge favor. Go and check them out right away. If like us, you want the VR community to grow and you enjoy the content on this channel, then please go to the link description below the like button in order to support us. It will redirect you to our official VR Essentials merch store where all the designs, including the Octopus Plane Beat Saber and the Shark in VR are limited editions and will only be available for the next two, three months or so. There really is something for everyone. So avoid disappointment, act right away.